Hello, I'm Charlie and welcome to Authentic Mental Health, the channel that offers advice and friendly support within our like-minded community. Today's video is coming up right after this. When you're anxious or when your anxiety levels are high or during a panic attack or during an anxiety attack, do you make excuses not to do something or to stop doing something that you're doing? Do you lie about the reasons why you have to stop or not do something? Do you say, sorry David, I can't come to meet you later because my mum's asked me to go shopping with her? Or sorry Sarah, I can't go to the cinema with you, something's cropped up at home, I can't go, I'm sorry. Or ring your boss at work and say, sorry, I can't come in today, I went for some food last night with some friends and it's made me feel ill, I think I've got food poisoning, I can't come in today. I can guarantee you 99.9% .9 of the people watching this video, you do that, don't you? I do it myself, I do it all the time when I'm anxious or if I'm having a panic attack or I know I'm going to have a panic attack. I make excuses, I lie, I cancel plans, I stop doing what I'm doing even if I'm out with friends and I make an excuse to leave and stop doing what I'm doing. But I never say the real reason why. I never say to them, sorry, my anxiety is really bad at the moment, I just want to go home. I want to be left alone. I want to go to my room. I want to clear my head. I want to go for a walk. I never say that. I always lie and make an excuse. Hands up if you do it too. I'll hold two hands up because I do it all the time. I did it the other day and when I got home, I promised myself, I promised myself I would never lie or make an excuse again. First of all, lying is bad and it's wrong. Lying just creates more problems and if you get found out that you're lying, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. The same goes for excuses. If you get found out, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. So from now on, when I'm anxious or I'm having a panic attack or I know I'm gonna have an anxiety attack or if my anxiety levels for that day are really high and I've made plans to do something or if I'm in the middle of doing something, I'm just going to turn around and say, I'm really sorry, I can't do it, I have to go or I can't come because my anxiety is really, really bad today. I'm not gonna lie anymore and I'm certainly not going to make excuses anymore. I am not ashamed of my anxiety and neither should you or anybody else on this planet that suffers from anxiety. Enough is enough now. If people don't accept that I suffer from anxiety and they don't accept how I feel and they don't understand how I feel, well that's their problem, it's not mine. Those people aren't worth knowing if they don't understand or respect how I am feeling. I'm pleading with you, I'm begging you, please do the same as me. Don't make excuses anymore, don't lie anymore, be honest and be open. There is no need to be ashamed anymore of how we feel. I am making this change in my life. Are you going to join me? So my passionate talk is now over. I'm sorry, but I felt like I needed to get it off my chest. I feel like I want to and I need to inspire you to make a change with me. Like I said, I'm as culpable as all of the things I spoke about as you. We are all in this together and if we all make a change together, we will all start to see a difference together. We will all be going through the same thing together and hopefully more people will understand what we are going through. Let me know in the comments section down below if you're like me or if you're going to make the change with me and not make excuses. You've said enough is enough. I'm going to be open and honest when I'm anxious, when my anxiety levels are high, when I feel like I'm having a panic attack or going to have a panic attack. Hopefully this video has inspired you somewhat. If you haven't already, subscribe to Authentic Mental Health. For more content like this in the future, please give the video a like, it really helps. It lets me know if you've enjoyed this type of video and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I will see you in another video.